So um, I came across SketchUp in 2006. Uh, SketchUp is a 3D modeling platform, and it's free for you to download. And all you need to remember from this evening in order to get SketchUp is to remember the word. Okay, so all you have to do is type in SketchUp into a Google search, and you can have it on your computer, depending on your download speed, in about five minutes on your Mac or PC. Okay, so this evening's talk is about how to be a 3D superhero. Okay, so if you can imagine an environment where you can invent, you can design anything that you want, you have the resources in a computer where you can inhabit a space and put together anything from an invention, a building, a city, anything at all that you want. And what I'm going to show you here is how this environment works. Okay, so I'm going to bring up... Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm using the mouse to navigate in this space. And all I need to do is draw on the ground and pull up my blocks. Okay, so you can see how easy that is. Okay, so this is the software I work with just about every day I get a chance to, to work with this. So as, as a, uh, perhaps I should call myself a, a master builder uh, rather than an architect, um, I design the entirety of a building before it goes anywhere on site. So I've got everything done, and what I'm able to do is I'm able to cost uh, construction, I'm able to do energy analysis, and do my construction drawings, and build the entire building. So the problem I have is that with a client is that the job goes so well on site that the client thinks that it's easy. That's the biggest problem I have. So when there, if, there, if there's ever a little problem, the client has a big problem when there's, when there's something actually, uh, something small wrong. But the, 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 the job goes really well on site. So this evening's talk is about how to be a 3D superhero. I, I have the pleasure of not only just using the software, but I have the pleasure of teaching the software to everyone from an architect to an engineer, a contractor, to uh, kids in school. And I'm talking about um, the same piece of software um, that relates to all kinds of uh, backgrounds. So one of the amazing things about SketchUp is that you can, you can change your job every day. You can be an architect today, you can be a landscape designer tomorrow. Uh, you can be a movie set designer the next day. You can, be, you can design theater sets. You can be a graphic designer. So this is a platform that, that does all of these things. And it's free and accessible to everyone. OK, so how do you do this? You download SketchUp for free, as I said. 
uh, visit designerdojo.ie, which I'll talk a little bit about in a minute. Um, make awesome models and then show your mum. Okay, so what we're, what we're doing, um, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a professional trainer. Um, what, what we're putting together is a program to teach kids SketchUp for free. And the program is called Designer Dojo. And it's in conjunction with Coder Dojo, the um, creators of Coder Dojo, that some of you might be aware of, um, love SketchUp and they love 3D printing. So um, Bill Lau uh, suggested the name to me and we are going with it. We're going to make uh, SketchUp available for uh, free training across the country. Uh, the pro version is available to all Irish schools for free. Ireland is the only country outside the US that actually has this available uh, nationwide. Okay, and uh, lastly, it's incredibly awesome. <laughs> this, this, by the way, is the, the skateboard uh, project, and um, that's, that's the first set of tutorials that we do to uh, get kids uh, up and running on SketchUp. Okay, so I talked about SketchUp and I talked about uh, making objects in, in 3D. Um, people ask me, what, what can I do with SketchUp? And the, my, my first reaction to that question is, it's more relevant to ask the question, um, how do I get SketchUp to do what I want it to do? Um, because literally, it is that deep a software. I mean, I, I, I make buildings with it. Um, all the information is contained within the virtual environment. But the most awesome thing of all is 3D printing. So just imagine this is a virtual environment into which not only can you imagine what you want, but you can actually reach in to your virtual environment and pull out <coughs> objects from that environment. And this is, this is a, an actual real thing. This is something that's, it's not just, uh, we're not just talking about, it's actually happening. And this, what you're looking at here is, this is a maker bot, and it's like the size of a microwave, and it pulls in a coil of plastic, heats it up, and pushes it onto a hot plate that builds up uh, layers of plastic. And I have some of these models here that uh, I can pass around the audience later. And um, these are just objects that were formed in my mind through the computer and then actually made. So this is not just science fiction. This is actually happening. It's actually not very old, not very new technology. It's actually been around for, for a long time, but it's becoming much more accessible. And uh, it's, it's going to become a commonplace thing. So these, these objects here were made with that machine. So there's an actual photograph, it's not virtual. What you see here is an image of a building that could not be constructed by human hands. The, one, of the, one of the things about 3D printing is that it actually produces things that cannot be manufactured by any other means. So what you see, this, this building here could not be built without a, a process that involves uh, high-level data manipulation and the use of new technology that will actually uh, put buildings together. So, it, buildings are actually printed. The, 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 process, the process is actually reality even now. There are processes for uh, creating uh, concrete, uh, buildings. There are uh, plugins that make um, wooden buildings uh, that, that cut out pieces that you can put together as kits that, that arrive on the back of a 
in a, in a lorry um, that you can put together yourself. And these are, these are from your own creations. So what I'd like to leave you with is if you can remember the word SketchUp and also remember designerdojo.ie and go home this evening and download SketchUp, install it, put it on your own computer, put it, tell, tell your kids about it and use this amazing free resource because this is the future and I invite you to enjoy it. Thanks very much.